It is an exciting day today here at the office because today is new iPad day. What we have today is not one, but we've got two new iPad Pros. Very excited about them. As soon as I saw the announcement, I knew that I had to get them uh, for a bunch of reasons. But today what I want to do, they finally arrived. It's November 7th and I'm going to unbox these and I'll talk a little bit about how I'm going to use them in our workflow here. So I'll put this one away for now and we'll get opening this second iPad. One of the things is it looks like this year, maybe they did it last time too, they've made the unboxing a little bit easier. The pull tab, GoPros had the same thing as well this year. All right, so we've got that aside and now we're gonna get this opened up. And we've got the iPad itself, which feels great. And then we've got some, uh, paperwork and this a USB-C fast charger so very excited about this uh, very excited about the USB-C port that's gonna be at the bottom that's kind of one of the big pieces of news and big changes for the new iPad Pro and this is a Apple USB-C to USB-C uh, connector uh, the cable is shorter than I was expecting um, when I bought my MacBook and I think the last year's iPad Pros, they gave you six feet of cable, um, but that's it for the unboxing. Let's get, put the paper away, and then let's get this done. This is the best part. Oh, feels great. Wow. It is, uh, feels incredibly light compared to the old one. Uh, space gray, the camera on the back just seems gigantic compared to like iPhones. This thing is weird. It's got these three magnetic spots on the bottom, cameras in the top, and then a USB-C port on the bottom. So just completely different. So while that's getting powered on, let me go grab my old iPad so we can compare it. All right, so just for comparison's sake, so we've got the two iPads here. Let's open up just a browser or some sort of window so we can get an idea of the size difference. The screen sizes are the same, but the footprint is obviously quite different. I'm very excited about that. These also have rounded corners or what Apple is calling the liquid retina, I think. Um, and so that's a little bit different as well um, in terms of thickness. They feel about the same thickness. Um, it also it depends on, this one has the camera nub. This older iPad Pro does not. And so depending on where you're touching it, uh, the new iPad is actually thicker or thinner. So that's just one thing to keep in mind. The main things that I'm really excited about for this device uh, are the USB-C port. So we're gonna be doing a lot of testing with that. And we're also gonna be looking um, at the new chip that's inside. So that's one thing. So some of the other things that are new about this iPad are the inclusion of Face ID. I don't really care about Face ID because on my iPads, I set them up for use by multiple users intentionally. So I don't put a passcode on my iPads. Uh, I've never put a thumbprint on my iPads either and I'm not gonna be putting Face ID on that. So while that is something that has been much anticipated and I think a lot of people are looking forward to on this iPad, we're not gonna be taking a look at that. All right, so now we're onto the main screen, and this screen is beautiful. Uh, it is uh, just inviting. I wa you want to touch it. It's really nice. Uh, this screen is also quite nice too. I never had a problem with the screen or just any of the speed of the animations on this iPad, but there's a couple of apps where I do feel like having extra horsepower is going to be really helpful. Primarily, that's in the apps that we use quite a bit here at a litigation consulting firm, which is TrialPad. Uh, that's one that we use a lot. And we do do some video work, not necessarily on the iPads, uh, but a lot of times we need to be able to put videos on here and play them from here. 
and also push pixels to external monitors. The one thing that I am also looking forward to is the ability, not that I necessarily would or need to, but at least the ability to ex to connect an external display that's 4K onto this uh, newer iPad here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep playing around with it. We're gonna take a look at some of the other apps, but I wanted to get you a quick unboxing, just a very brief look around this device, which is just absolutely amazing. I, it's, it's really quite phenomenal um, just how small and yet gigantic this iPad is. Let me get a piece of paper and see how that test works out. Got a regular piece of paper on my desk and uh, compared to the regular iPad, it's a lot bigger than this one. It's really close. I, I always thought that every time people did this, they were kind of messing around, but it actually really is if you look at that. Very close. So about the size of a piece of paper easily can fit into like a regular size folio, I think, which I think expands some of the kind of use case and carrying options. You don't have to necessarily get a special case, which we never really do for our iPads here. Although I forgot to order our screen protectors. They won't be getting here till tomorrow. So until then, I'm going to play around with this very, very carefully. That's all I have for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.